Welcome to this video about World War I. In this video, we will be exploring the causes, events, and consequences of one of the most devastating conflicts in human history. Let's start with the causes of World War I. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, Europe was divided into two major alliances, the Triple Entente, consisting of Britain, France, and Russia, and the Triple Alliance, consisting of Germany, Austria-Hungary, and Italy. The competition between these alliances for power and influence in Europe led to a series of crises and tensions that eventually led to war. One of the major causes of World War I was the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria-Hungary in June 1914. This event triggered a chain reaction of alliances and mobilizations that quickly escalated into a full-scale war. On August 4, 1914, Germany declared war on Belgium and invaded France. Britain, which had a treaty with Belgium, declared war on Germany in response. Soon, all of Europe was at war. The early years of World War I were marked by a series of brutal battles and trench warfare. Soldiers on both sides dug trenches and fought from them, often for months or even years at a time. The conditions in the trenches were horrific, with soldiers living in cramped quarters and exposed to disease, vermin, and constant danger. In 1915, Germany launched a major offensive against France in an attempt to break the stalemate on the Western Front. The Battle of Verdun, which lasted from February to December 1916, was one of the bloodiest battles in history, with over 700,000 casualties on both sides. Meanwhile, on the Eastern Front, Russian forces were struggling against German and Austro-Hungarian armies. In 1917, Russia was plunged into revolution and civil war, which eventually led to its withdrawal from the war. In April 1917, the United States entered the war on the side of the Allies. President Woodrow Wilson cited Germany's unrestricted submarine warfare and its attempts to draw Mexico into the war as reasons for America's involvement. The final years of World War I saw a series of major offensives and counter-offensives on both the Western and Eastern fronts. In November 1918, Germany finally surrendered, bringing an end to the war. The consequences of World War I were far-reaching and profound. The war had claimed the lives of over 16 million people and left millions more wounded or displaced. It had also destroyed much of Europe's infrastructure and economy. The Treaty of Versailles, signed in 1919, imposed harsh penalties on Germany and its allies, including massive reparations payments and territorial losses. The treaty also established the League of Nations, an international organization designed to prevent future wars. However, the Treaty of Versailles was widely criticized for its punitive nature and its failure to address underlying issues such as nationalism and imperialism. Many historians believe that the treaty contributed to the rise of fascism and the outbreak of World War II just two decades later. Finally, World War I was a devastating conflict that had far-reaching consequences for Europe and the world. If you need notes on this topic, Check the description box and get more understanding. See you in another new video. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to Present and Past Explorers today.